Hello, my name is Mr. Drakenov, and today I will teach you how, wait, well, a very easy way actually to, to blur speedometers and license plates. So let me just jump into my editing rig here and then we'll talk about it. Okay, so right now we're in Premiere and uh, I've got two clips here. I've got one which is a POV motorcycle with a GoPro and then I've got a car which is uh, has been shot on a slider so it's kind of moving. And we're gonna blur the actual uh, license plate on the car and then the speedometer on the motorcycle. Now you can use this technique on just about anything like faces, of course uh, license plates on motorcycles, uh, speedometers on cars just about anything. The effect I'm gonna use is called Gaussian Blur, which is this one. You can also find it under Video Effects right here in the Effects panel and under uh, Blur and Sharpen. Now I started to use Camera Blur actually when I, when I did it, but it seems to be a lot more heavy uh, for the computer to handle. So I've started using Gaussian Blur. So uh, drag the Gaussian Blur effect over to the, your clip that you want to use for blurring. Now, you have this Gaussian Blur effect here right now. If you will go to the blurriness and then put that up, then you'll blur the entire clip. That is not what we want. So you have to create a mask and the mask, I'm going to roughly position it around the speedometer. I am going to use the uh, rectangular one just because the speedometer here is roughly a rectangle. So I've zoomed in right here to about 200, 150% and then I'm kind of fine adjusting my positioning of this mask. Now what you'll see is that if I now turn the blurriness a little bit up, it will only blur the speedometer, which is great. That is exactly what we want. Uh, turn that back down and then set, we, we use the mask path and set a keyframe once you're happy with the, the position of the mask. And then we have these two arrows, which is called Track Selected Mask Forward or Track Selected Mask Backwards. Now, all you have to do from here is click one of them. Now I'm in the middle, so I can choose, but let's say I'll go backwards, track backwards. One click, and you'll get this tracking uh, window popping up, and you'll see that the window is actually moving and the mask is tracking your selected area. Now, I do think this need kind of uh, some contrast. I don't know how the algorithm really works, but uh, it works well enough for me for my use as of right now. There are probably better programs out there. I'm just gonna speed this up for you so that you don't have to sit and watch through this and I'll blur it the other way as well and then we'll look at the result. Okay, so now that we're done tracking, we now have all of these keyframes right here. So what you want to do now is now you can raise the blurriness to a desired level. I kind of tend to keep it not at maximum because that just looks a little bit too much for me. Uh, but I'll blur it just so that you can't see the speedometer. And I'll also I'll zoom in a little bit and see how the mask is doing. I'll usually do like a little bit of mask expansion to make it a little bit better or bigger. Uh, if we deselect that mask, now you can see that the speedometer is indeed blurred. Uh, this clip right here is recorded in 60 frames a second. That means that it'll track the mask 60 times for every second of video, which is a lot. But I've also got this uh, car clip right here. It's really the same concept here. You just apply the Gaussian blur, get the mask, and then kind of get it where you want it when you can see all of the mask. And then we zoom in to fine tune the mask. So license plates are like really easy to, to kind of uh, to, to blur because it's white on black. Most likely there's like a black uh, bar around this or a black trim 
So I've got it roughly there where I want it. I'll zoom back out, put down a keyframe and start tracking. And there you go, that took way longer than I wanted it to, but uh, it is what it is. So that's how you uh, blur speedometers and plates, very easy. Uh, I know it's not all it's this is the basic concept uh, you might have to do some adjustments uh, every now and then it's it's really really easy Premiere makes it really easy easy so uh, that has been me Drake off teaching you how to blur hopefully you learned something new if you did great thumbs up um, I guess I will end the video here not waste any more of your time and then I'll catch you in the next video